you guys had a lot of work to do when you got there last year in terms of rebuilding, but I think you, you saw some of that take place. Uh, what did you take away from last year? Well, Haley, you know, one of the biggest things that we took away was that our guys were improving. Um, you know, we played, played six teams that were ranked in the top 20. Um, coming off a 1-11 team, a rebuild. I knew it was going to come in. I knew there was going to be some challenges along the way. But for our guys to, to, to see the improvements that we made through the course of the season, um, but they weren't showing up on the scoreboard. And so trying to keep the guys involved, keep them, keep them engaged, that became a, a, you know, a, a season within itself. Uh, because we are, we were making huge strides, um, but we had a long way to go. And uh, so expecting great things coming into year two. Uh, obviously, we didn't have any changes on our coaching staff, which is great. Uh, so the continuity there is, is uh, really special. So guys didn't have to learn anybody's name. Even though maybe those games didn't turn out to be wins for you, do you think that impacted the confidence level of this group of guys, knowing that they can at least hang in there with those groups? Oh, it did. You know, watching our guys grow, um, you know, I'm not into moral victories, they, even though, you know, there was so much to take out of the season of last year, both good and bad. Um, but really, the, the main thing is for our guys to see that, hey, we're, we're just, we're so close. Um, we've got to continue to push. We can't change who we are. I'm not going to change who I am. Uh, I know what it's going to take to win. I know that the, the culture that we have to establish here. And, uh, and again, our standard is best. And, and we expect our guys to give their absolute best every time they step on that field. And, and uh, so watching that, watching those guys, uh, uh, it really, you know, the confidence level coming into year two is, is, is very much uh, at, at a higher level than it was this time last year. What do you want SMU football to be known for as you continue to establish and build your foundation? Well, we're going to win. Uh, we've won my whole life and our staff has won and, and that's all we know how to do is win. Winning is a byproduct of doing the right things. And, and I knew what I was coming into. I knew this was a program that was down uh, as, as any in all of college football. But, you know, when I do leave SMU one day, I, I want to be known for someone that came in and cared about kids other than just on the field of football. Uh, I just, you know, if, if all of these kids got out of me was just to become a better football player for the four years that they're with me, um, then I failed a lot of people. Um, I, I want them to learn how to, to be accountable in life. I want to learn how to serve and to give and to a community and to be a great husband, a father, a leader. and, and and, and to be able to grow their faith if that's what they choose to do and live with great integrity and, and, uh, and just know that no matter what they go through in their life, the ups, the downs they go through, just to be themselves and, and to have a confidence that if you continue to, to, to do the right things that it's going to pay great dividends. And, and really, look, winning, winning is, is a byproduct of all that and, and, uh, and we're going to win. And, and I understand it's my job to win. and, and uh, but, uh, but it's far more my job to turn these young men into to great citizens and, and that's something we work every day extremely hard to do.